I found this amusing interactive from The Guardian on this political bingo game, and I wanted to rebuild it in Storyline. So here's what the Storyline file looks like. And the idea is, is if you click on a, on one of these cards or squares, you it shows a check mark much like bingo. And if you win, you can call bingo. And if you don't, you get this sad little message. So I'm going to show you the actual storyline file here. I have this set up with two scenes. The first one is is the completed version with all the states and all the triggers on each one of these cards. And the second one, I removed all of the the boxes and just left one because once you create one of these and you add the states and the triggers and the variables, you just duplicate them and then make some minor tweaks and you're good to go. So what we're going to do is start by clicking on this card, and each card has four states, okay? So click Edit States. The first one is the normal state, and this state contains the text and the graphic and the filled-in shape. The second one is the hover state, then the visited state, and then a disabled state. And more on the, on the disabled state later. Okay, so now what I want to draw your attention to is the this progress text right here. And let me jump to the published file so that you can see how this works. Okay, so when you click on one of these, you're gonna get this counter down here, which which keeps track of your progress. So one down, eight to go, then two down, seven left, three, go baby, go. So the way that you control this is with a variable. And again, you want, the learner will most likely click out of order and so you want you want to be able to allow that and then so let me just show you how how I did that so let's click over here on this um, manage project variables icon double click over here on the counter and it'll launch this dialog box and you can call that particular variable anything you want anything that's meaningful to you I chose counter and the value should be set to zero click OK click OK and each card is going to have two triggers associated with it. The first trigger counts the clicks. The second trigger prevents the user from clicking more than once. I'm going to show you how this works. So the action is to adjust the variable, the variable being the counter. Each time the, the user clicks on that card, it will add a value of one. Okay. The second trigger will change the state of the card to the state disabled when the user clicks that card. And this is where the disabled state comes in. The whole purpose of this is to prevent the user from clicking on, on these boxes more than one time. When you hover over it, you get the hand, the hand cursor, and then once the, the user clicks on it, they can't click on it again, okay? And then the last thing that we're going to do is add a slide trigger. And the whole purpose of the slide trigger is to evaluate the tracking. So I'm going to double click on this to open this up. So the action is to change the state of this progress text over here to normal when the variable changes, the variable being the counter, and the counter is always equal to that one point. So click OK. And basically that's it. And then once you have done all of that, you can now duplicate this shape and all of the the triggers and variables will go with it and the only minor tweaks that you'll make to it is is over here so you'll see the the second one you want to change that to two if the counter is equal to two change that to three when the counter is equal to three and so on and so forth so it's pretty straightforward and if you have any questions be sure to let me know thanks a lot bye